Welcome back team and today we are going to answer one of your lovely questions. So, we got a tweet earlier asking if we can explain macros because we talk about macros this, macros that, the whole industry talks about it. We're just going to give you a nice simple definition. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So macros stands for macronutrients. Your macronutrients are protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Each one holds a different amount of energy. Protein holds four calories per gram, uh, carbs hold four calories per gram, and fat holds nine calories per gram, and alcohol holds seven, but we don't really count as a macronutrient, because it doesn't good. give you anything. It does, it Apart gives me a massive high, and it like, gives me some dancing shoes. It definitely makes you, uh, it makes you dance, is it a loose kind of term for dance? That's, that's just awesome. It's more like uh, someone getting an electric shock. Like yeah. when your hands go up, <laughs> this actually happens, his hands go up and yeah. It doesn't. It does. Right, so now we've figured out exactly what macros are, another question that we know we'll get asked as soon as we say, this is carbs, this is fat, this is protein, is how much of each should I have a day? And once again, we're going to say the same thing we say throughout the whole industry, is it depends. It depends on your goals, it depends on your body types, it depends on how you react to each type of macronutrient that you have in your diet. I concur. Things you can do though, say I was going to have 2 grams of protein per kilogram of my body weight, I am going to split that up evenly through my meals of the day. The reason I'm going to do this is because a lot of people just have cereal in the morning which doesn't have a whole amount of protein in it, so you've just missed a chance to initiate protein synthesis. And if building muscle is your goal, you want to stimulate as many times as possible you can in the day. So that's a simple kind of thing you want to take in. Right, so also we're going to move on to carbohydrates. So the way that we tend to do it is getting more carbohydrates in around your workout. So we we live more on a high fat, high protein based diet and then we do our workout and then we bang in the carbs for recovery post workout. So I have a lot more carbohydrates in my diet. I still like to have a protein and fat based breakfast. So how to explain it nice and easily is because if you think you've been asleep, hopefully you've been for eight hours, unless you've had a really good night and you might have had a couple of hours or seven, seven 20 hours. minutes less. <laughs> seven hours and 59 minutes. <laughs> yeah, one minute less. Um, You've kind of, you're going to be lower on blood sugar and insulin levels in your blood, so you're going to be more likely to be able to release fat from cells to use fat or oxidize fat as your fuel source. So in the morning, if I keep to kind of uh, protein and fat, especially something like coconut oil, which is medium chain triglycerides, which gives you ketones in the morning, which means you lost lots of energy real quickly, helps you focus if you're someone who feels like they get a bit groggy in the mornings, I can then carry on burning fat for the prolonged part of my day until I start to bring in carbohydrates as as a rule, that's the hope anyway. So it's entirely up to you how you choose to um, build your day. We just do it for our specific reasons that we find work for us. It's all about what works for you. So if you want to have oats in the morning, that's cool. If you want to have a cereal, your funeral, be my guest. <laughs> if you're going to have a cereal, make sure it's Lucky Charms. Oh, if I was going to have cereal, it'd be Cocoa Pops all day. Cocoa Pops are good, but the problem is Lucky Charms are literally just every, every spoon is like a spoon. Do you know what? I, I don't think I've ever had them. Have you not? No. I might stick them in post-workout. Put me in here. You probably have sugar in them. You absolutely love it. Okay, it's so damn hot in here, so and we need to get some air, so Leon's gonna sign out for us. Yeah, so very simply, guys, the most important thing to remember is keep it simple. Everybody, there's every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the world out there telling us to eat a certain way, have this type of protocol, do all that. Don't worry about that until you've nailed the basics. Work your carbohydrates in around your workout, especially if you've got a sedentary lifestyle. Get plenty of fat in, but make sure it's healthy fats. Don't avoid fat in your diet, you need it, it's so important. And get your protein in for recovery, get plenty of fluids in, and it's as simple as that. Then you can complicate it a little bit more. Hell yeah. So, I didn't say anything really. You don't? No. But no. Let's go. I'm not saying anything. So, if you've got any burning questions, take them to the doctors, but if you've got any normal health questions, put them below. We'll be back this time next week, and we love you all, and goodbye for now. Bye bye guys. Everybody seems to tell you not to eat gluten when they have no idea what it is and what implications it might have. So, let's get into it.